What is up guys? Welcome back to Hobby Bowl. My name is Skylar and this is day four of Mobile Suit Mess. We are going to finish my HGUC Juagu here, Clear Parts Burr from Unicorn Gundam. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. I do want to answer a couple of questions that I got about this guy right here. He has two gimmicks, which are really cool for an HG. His trunk does move. He has this actual wire material that goes through his snout. And each of these pieces are individual pieces of plastic I had to individually cut out. And his other gimmick also has to do with his head here. His other gimmick here is that you can move this little piece right here manually to make the mono eye move which is a pretty cool little gimmick. He also has two sets of stickers. If you're brand new to Gundam or you haven't built that many kits, there are three different kinds of stickers. I do not have water slide decals, but I have these little, they almost, a lot of people think they look cheap, um, but these are going to be your like effect pieces and like the more bulk size stickers. And then these bad boys right here are called dry rub decals. You're literally just gonna put them on and press them down. They're just basically stickers. When it comes to where or if you even use those, it is all up to you. It's creativity. If you don't wanna put them on there, you don't wanna deal with it, you don't gotta do it. But if you want to and you're not quite sure where to start, there's always generally a guide. So first of all, the paint guide down here if you wanna get into painting. And then if you wanna do the actual decals, the dry rub, you can, find, you can find it also on the back as well. In MG kits, there's a little bit more detailed maps as to where you wanna put those decals because they're gonna be a lot more labor intensive. If you think this is overwhelming, you should see some of the MG kits and how many dry rubs they have. But like I said, at the end of the day, it is up to you whether you even wanna put these on, where you wanna put them on. I think I'm gonna show you guys maybe one of them, maybe the Xeon logo here. I might put the Xeon logo on it just because I would like to show you guys how to do these. Like it's literally just a sticker, but that'll be the only sticker on here because I, I'm really thinking I just wanna keep him clear, at least for now. So if there's a sticker, it'll be because of this video. <laughs> But I can't wait to finish him. We're gonna put him on the shelf over here, move these guys down or move them up somewhere. We're gonna take him and put him on the shelf back here and then he will be on Gunflow Rave Shelf for the rest of eternity or at least for, <laughs> at least for Mobile Suit Miss. I say eternity because I just think he's absolutely adorable and he makes me happy. So that's probably why he's gonna stay there for a very long time. <laughs> All right guys, let's get right into the video. It should be a super quick one. Let's go.
editing Skylar here. I am going over the footage that I got of the decals that I was just working on and it's uh, excruciating and hard to watch so I'm not going to continue doing decals so appreciate the struggle, the gun plus struggle that happens to all builders that uh, this is the reality of doing decals. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hello there, welcome back to the side of sanity. <laughs> I'm sorry for the excruciating footage, um, but basically these stickers were not wanting to cooperate very well, as you can see. I was using a dental pick and that's usually what I use. Um, that is not blood, by the way. <laughs> that is acrylic paint from my Exia project, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys here soon. But. <laughs> What I decided upon, because upon further inspection, I am not the biggest fan, aside from this being annoying, I am not the biggest fan of how these are gonna look on these pieces. These little, these pieces right here are supposed to be that sticker. And I'm not the biggest fan of that, so, Mainly because I don't want to deal with decals, uh, I do want to use some of the tips that you guys left me in the comment section below on getting rid of nub marks on clear plastic a little bit better than just painting them. And I also want to mask off these pieces for the effect pieces. And I want to do this like gunmetal or some other color and airbrush this. And then I want to use something, I'm not a big fan of how they don't connect. Part of that is just me. These I did, uh, God, a year ago? These I did uh, quite a while ago and I'm not a big fan of how they turned out. And then of course you saw these right here, they don't quite connect very well. So what I'm wanting to do is leave him the majority of the way still clear but I want to paint the finger joints and this red. So you're gonna be seeing some more of him. For now though, I'm happy with how he looks and I'm gonna leave him alone. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you guys had to watch me struggle with stickers, but if you are a builder, then you are well aware of the frustrations that you are well aware of decal frustration and the reason why most people don't even like doing stickers to begin with Honestly, it's the biggest reason I like painting my kits <laughs> Unless I just like the kit and then usually I'll leave a kit alone and I won't put decals on it either But we are going to put him on the little back shelf here and then I'll move it around later on hand grenades there Sengoku there we go. I'll, I'll probably put my Kshatriya up there and let's put this cute little boy. Oh, well, let me give you a quick little look of him again really quick. Very, very cool kit. If you guys have any questions about him, definitely ask me. I would love to talk about him. I left it without the PC joint right here because I fully don't ever intend on putting him on an actual holder. He's chunky and sturdy enough as it is that he's not gonna need an actual action base or anything like that. If I will, I have the PC joint, I have extra PC joints, so it should be good to go. But I mean, he's a cute boy. He's the best boy, he's a chonky boy. 
and I'm really excited. Uh, I know a couple of you guys said that you were going to buy it. Definitely tag me on Instagram or something like that. Send it to me. I would love to see yours. Oh, he's so cute. I'm going to put him right there for right now, and then you guys will see him in the next video. So thank you again for all the support. I will be doing a video in the future, definitely on how to do these dry rubs. Thank you guys so, so, so much. I will see you guys tomorrow for Mobile Suit Day 5. It's been a crazy journey already, and we're going to keep pushing. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye. Oh, it's Friday. It's the weekend. Have a good weekend. All right, bye, guys. See you tomorrow.